Hi guys, today in this tutorial we will learn about CSS glass morphism button. Let's start the code. First of all, we want to create a HTML template and title is CSS glass morphism button. Inside the body, we want to add a div and inside this we want to type button. Save the file, refresh, the button is visible now. Let's link our style sheet index.css and start to style our web page. Margin 0, padding 0, and box sizing is border box. Save the file, refresh, the margin is ok now. Let's start to style our body. Display flex, justify content center, align item center, height. 100vh with 100% and we want add background color that was hash 262626ff save the file refresh the background color is ok now let's start to style our div display flex justify content center align item center Position is relative and height 100 pixel with 300 pixel and font size 50 pixel, font weight bold and font family is cursive and we want to add letter spacing 2 pixel, color white and background color was RGBA. 255 copy this and paste it two times and this is 0.1 and we want to add box shadow that was 1 pixel 1 pixel 60 pixel and color is black and border radius that will be 10 pixel cursor pointer overflow will be hide save the file refresh the buttons layout is ok now let's we want to create div before inside this content display block position absolute and height 100 pixel width 300 pixel and bottom will be 80 percentage left 80 percentage background color deep pink and we want to add box shadow that was 1 pixel 1 pixel 60 pixel and color was deep pink let's copy this line and paste it next we want to add filter blur that was 10 pixel and border radius 10 pixel and z index will be minus 1 save the file refresh button is looking good let's copy this and paste it we want to change this after and this is top and left will be right and we want to change these colors that will be dodger blue Save the file, refresh, that is visible now. Let's create div over before. Inside this, we want that animation. Animation name was anim1. One. one second, linear forwards. Let's copy this and paste it. We want to change this after, and animation name will be anim2. Let's create our animation keyframes and animation name anim1 inside this 100% bottom 50% and left 50% Let's copy this animation and paste it one time We want to change this anim2 and bottom will be top and this is right Save the file refresh 
the power effect is working. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.